a main and not giving away for free stars being deployed. Paint shells going forward. Baby Bay <laughs> finding first blood, and they are following it up nicely on the face side of things. But big recovery there. Bobby Sai, Baby Bay, low health, looking to try to get in here. Gets caught as the early alert system. Luckily, at least has a rotation from Rockus and oh, company so already good. on the way. And Rockus is strong. A nice strike there with the shock dart. Aldrin will push for paranoia as well. Maybe on the side. Oh, no, Koala able to find the headshot. So now they consider, do you really want to push through this? Seems like he wants to. And as he does, Quinn will be there to find the easy kill. So with the Soden, early information play going through main. Baby J is a part of this and actually very forward. Flash will come through. Brian just runs right into danger. Does find one. And how about the shot from Win? Actually takes down one. Spending they need it, which you feel like they'll likely try to find a way to get that into play. But for Corey, Rockus, and Zach, this is going to be a very difficult retake with only a recon bolt and a boom bot just to try to clear up a bit of space. And you can already see the split coming through one through tree, two up top. And the timing, oh, you thought it was going to be good with the paranoia coming out, but Corey evades it, finds the kill on the chase. So now 3v3. But now you still have a situation where the post plant is so darn solid. You have to find this kill if you're Zach and Nismo, very prepared for it, finds the one tap. 2v3 situation. This retake is going to be hard pressed not just to even get onto the site, but can they even get away? Nismo's trying to chase. Throws the guiding light out, finds one. Ooh. Not 100% sure where the second one is. Corey trying to respond, but Nismo sidestep. A number of utility being thrown out from Ghost, and how about the clean take? They're already through market and over by Boathouse. Yeah, that KO alt just silenced everything, plus he got the molly on market, so no way for FaZe to break the site open before they got in, but that's a big pickup from Rockus. They actually get some a 5 on 4 retake situation. They do still have a Cosmic Robot and Hunter's Fury available as well. Hunter's Fury is going to come through. Rock is able to find another. Chase trying to push forward. Koala also working through main, and both will walk away with a single elimination. Chase, though, put in a bit of a tricky situation, trying to play forward on the staircase. Gives numbers now over to FaZe, but Zachary down to just 7 HP. Win trying to hold. Going to be able to, ooh, get an angle, but not quite lock down the shots and the retake. I think that's probably the best way of putting it. Yeah, we're trying. We're out here. Early defensive lockdown coming through, and baby made sure that Cat and A main are no longer a threat, which I think is big, right? It stops any type of push that could have punished you and allows you to kind of reset to the player behind, but Rockus will change things. Yeah, that's actually a really sneaky pickup for Rockus. Able to get back over the operator and turn it into a 4v4. Not a lot of time here. Zach, gonna be tested. Paranoia coming through. Corey's still working the same angle with them. They stay alive. The paranoia, at least initially. But that's up to oh. Zachary. No! Win for two. Unbelievable picks from him. Ghost on the way forward. 17 seconds, but Rock is still trying to hold. Guiding Light will push him back and win. Will successfully get the plant off. Yeah, that bait and switch got absolutely busted. That was trying to guard that tree position. You're thinking that Corey wants to stay shrouded while his teammates want to take some piece of tree so he can surprise them. But it doesn't happen. The paranoia blew that all up. And now it's just going to be Baby J trying to retake by himself. He just picks up an op. He wants to get out of here and say that you'd have to imagine, but knows that it's going to be tough to exit and indeed just assume with this utility. One day. Oh my goodness. Even beyond this. Oh, this is starting to feel maybe a bit desperate right here for FaZe. Double peek through B main. Not even really all that much supporting power from Rockus' own, and he's going to be tried here. Flash comes through, but it actually affects Koala maybe more than it was supposed to. It does get a read. Finds one. Will be knifed back, though. So again, tree and garden full taken. Now onto Zach once more. He's been foiled in this position, but not this time. Finds two. Corey gets the third. Now it's just down to win, but he gets the right click off. Turns it into a 1v1, and plenty of time to collect the spike and still plant for free. Yeah, again, all that mid presence didn't really allow Rockus to rotate until just now, so it gives Win a chance to kind of settle into this 1v1. He's got the door covering. I'm gonna go ahead and plant the spike towards under heaven. Rockus blows the door up and trying to trick Win into knowing where he's coming from. Here it oh is, and oh, gee. <laughs> Numbers actually in play for FaZe. Time also becoming a bit of an issue, and Rockus, does he have the correct lineup here? He's gonna start throwing some down, gets a lot of damage, but chase him to find one, but the paint shells come through, but the spike does get planted. Oh, if only just barely. Wins also able to convert with the Hunter's Fury. And FaZe now going to have to do this the hard way. 3v3. Win trying to lock down the back alley. And beyond that, the Shock Dark going to put a little bit of extra damage. Spam it on in. Oh find a my. double. Why not? One more. Oh, my goodness. Starting blocks. Oh, here we go. Aggression starting to come out towards day. Everything being spent. Now, Corey does actually put a really nice paint shell down. That slows things up. And then the gravity well locks him into place. FaZe able to start responding. And there will be this shutdown, including the null, that will not be allowed to get any sort of a regeneration. Well, at least not initially. I mean, Ryan is still down, but he will be finished. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think anyone's going to get there to help him. And it's going to be yeah. a 5v2. FaZe looking good here in the 10th.
Oh yeah, this is finally them coming up big. They have a five on two. They have Spike down right there in front of them. There is really no way back in at this point. Flynn trying to just throw a miracle Odin spray out there, but I think I think this time around for Ghost. Well, they're going to go split. I, the good news here, I would say, well, I don't even know if I really would call it good news, but both the Sovas know exactly where one another are. And Chase is actually going to try to lurk his way in the A. That gets shut down. But it looks like Ghost are actually going to full commit to the rotation. And this is good news for FaZe, who have kind of repositioned some of these stars. You've already got the paint shells down the gravity well with the showstopper. It's absolutely flawless. And another two kills tallied in favor of FaZe. Yeah, I, I really feel like the big flip of the switch here for FaZe has been the impact that this Astro utility has had being played. <laughs> it's not a song that I'm going to be subscribing to on Spotify, I'll tell you that much. Maybe they over in towards Boathouse, though, finds two, and then his maybe counterpart, Jay, able to find the third, and again, Ghost completely stuffed on the entry. Lockdown does get spent to force them further out, and now time is going to be a bit of a problem, plus the fact that they have to rotate through Corey, which is not going to happen. Just down the chase, 1v5. Spy cam will spook out that, yep, there are definitely people coming from behind. It's going to provide a lot of options for them to either split B, to, you know, stall out rotations or cut them off, and they can set up any sites what they want now that they have this deep market position as well. And they haven't lost anyone yet along the way, which gets closed here, but not before Koala goes down. And FaZe are just really putting together a nice pistol here. Joel comes out, not going to make much of a difference. Maybe be able to find one. Chase does respond over on the site itself. And Nismo, my goodness, how good has he been? Flashpoint going to come through, but not going to be able to find a second elimination. The Nebula will deny any other action to happen, and we essentially get a full reset. Spike is actually making its way back through B main to go back over towards mid. Oh, they're going to come into the spawn, though. This was waiting for this, but he's going to get caught. That's a great... Spike cam will actually read that both players, yes, indeed, are occupying right on top of the site itself. David J up top, looking to find a right click. Not going to quite get it. Wins down low. Able to at least lock down that, yes, these players are right below us. At least one of them is. They may have not actually fully seen Zach as of yet, but this recon bolt very well could give them the information that they need from the box play. Win for one, chase the second, and Ghost retake to take their ninth win. Big attack here onto A site phase, looking to just use that jet and raise to close distance quick. Be that explosive phase style we're used to and come in and pounce. But that's a big pickup from Ryan on the edge of that smoke there. Before the spike even gets planted, they get a frag back. Now a 4 4 retake all of a sudden coming into play. Things looking pretty positive here. Spike will be planted. Retake going to be tested from multiple angles. Nispo trying to work their way in through tree. Win up top. It's still 4v4, but again, steep control here for FaZe. The Nova Pulse will also be spent just in case someone was pushing through the Nebula. Not going to happen, but Zach able to cross. Avoids most of the guy he lights, finds two! What's more than that? FaZe now start doubling it back and start taking some mid control here. So, yeah. he's trying to find a great timing, but Ryan does at least left. catch on to the idea. Well, the only bit of utility left that could possibly deter a hit would be the guiding light, Nismo. Chase may be tested, and oh, tested he will be, but maybe they misses the right click. Neural Death now earned. Oh, and Chase is going to hold his ground, finds one! Almost able to get more than that. Corey able to keep things level, and Showstopper will be called. Blindsley throws that to the backside of the defensive spawn while the spike gets planted. Kind of had to, right, just to make sure he wasn't going to get run down and make sure that the spike is going to get planted, but now still a tough 2 on 3 hold here with Corey being so low on HP. It's going to be really tough to stop this. Oh, but the first shot of the operator does connect. Koala moving quickly. Corey misses the shot into Nismo in oh, hole. Zachary oh had an my. angle, but could not quite convert. And again, Nismo's heroics have been absolutely potent throughout this first map. Sure. The utility coming out for Ryan here. That is able to slow things down considerably. Lockdown has been earned, though, for Baby J, and they're going to use this for the next attempt. Indeed, they are heard out there as well. They're trying to get in here through all this utility, but the stalling tactics are huge. It's allowing him to stay inside and get two on his way out. <gasps> oh, he got caught! Two, get, two players get caught! It's not just it's not just Koala! I believe it's, it's Ryan as well mid-map! It's his bait. They are trying to bait him in the peaking heaven. They had a player covering the detained player. It's all fine. It's all fine, Jift. Or on two retake but now. The plant still gets through. There is potential for this 2v4 to still be held. All of this is going to be coming from up top. Now here comes the play. Corey, for one. Not going to get more than that. Rockus protected by the zero point. Holds his position. Sees the barrel of one. Finds it. Not going to get more beyond that. The Guardian of Koala does end up coming to play. And 
Throughout all their offensive rounds, Rock is tested on the outside, and oh, Nismo boy. again. It just he doesn't lose a one v one, does he? That is so huge. And now the Alba Koala will come out for one as well. He doesn't even get oh. chased down. Chase, in fact, the one that cover for him. No pun intended. A little bit accidental there, but it works out nonetheless. Five on two for Ghost. And look at the long play from behind here, Nismo. Oh my God. Goodness. I'm telling you, this guy does not lose one v one. Ghost have now held them off and now had them on a save. Yeah, this should be good to get them, you would think. Tons of map points, Beta Bay first blood. Ryan gonna be tested and dealt with. Hunter's Fury's even gonna come through beyond this. This is gonna be weapons for base. Oh. Zach with the operator. He's gonna be responsible for the flank. Little does he know, there is no flank that's going to occur here. So a lot of pressure onto both Rockets and Cordy to try to hold. Guiding light sent over through tree. That is not where the three take is coming from. It's all gonna come from top. But Zachary up through, he actually misses the first elimination possibly. Corey down low, able to deal with the recon bolt. Ghost starting to posture up top. Chase able to find one. It is going to still be a 2v2. Rock is holding this back side of the spike, and time is becoming a bit of a problem. Nobody can get through Corey down low, and a thrifty could use the concert to find trying to do just that. But again, a zero point comes through. Paranoia behind that's going to slow things down considerably. Koala for one. He just has to hold on. At all possible, just hold on. And how about it? He finds himself a second. Ghost now trying to come through tree. Are they even needed? Koala's found three so far. Corey by himself. And well, the yeah, Aldrone will push him back into a corner. It may not necessarily see him. And actually, yes, it absolutely yeah, it does. does. So <laughs> Corey is completely done at this point in time. And Ghost will very likely put themselves up 12. I don't want to full send it because we've seen some incredible things happen. To find three more kills in five seconds would probably take the cake. And it won't happen. Now, FaZe, what is going to be the response here? Still playing through mid. Dismo wants to challenge this. Throws out not just one, but two different hawks through this. Attacking lockdown also in play, but Corey gets value off the boom bot and finds an easy headshot to take down Nismo. Ryan still wanting to test this in. Oh my. He very well could just come up behind it. That's the spike carrier that's down. So now all of a sudden, FaZe have to come back to this. Chase on this site has found another. And just like that, FaZe were looking primed to get into B have been stalled almost to a complete stop. The big kill though from Baby Bay is gonna help them out. Now they still have the B pressure on board. Spike is here as well. Or has been shut. They can start coming up the lane together. Baby Bay out top of the backers this time he lands. And they follow up with Corey and they're breaking through. Well fortified today. Four players strong on the site. We're looking to try to get across here, but the cloud burst actually denies it serves as a one-way smoke. So Beta Bay finds first blood, but still, Ghost want to commit forward to this. They're even going to be able to send a couple of bits of utilities to try to push out this base clan squad, and boy have they. A couple of weapons get collected, but it comes at a bit of a cost, and Baby Bay is not giving up the angle. Oh. Ryan gets caught with the knife out, but meanwhile, other side of the map, Chase able to respond in kind. Spike is making his way towards A, but it is not here as of yet. And it's down to win. Yeah. Needs to hold and, on to this position. And they know Koala ulted. They know that he likely ulted back B. So that's why they're recommitting to A. Neural Death's going to come out from Chase at least. Win gets caught though under heaven. And now it's a four on two post plant. I think extra rounds are so likely at this point, Shift. Looks pretty solid. No tools really outside of dark covers for Ghost to try to recover this A site. Zachary. Mid map. Has gotten information on Chase, and in the same breath, Rock is able to take down the other up top. Looking just for Hunter's Furies to connect. Chase able to sidestep. Maybe has an angle on the one here. Finds it pretty darn cleanly. The rest are looking to go to the B side. The problem is, is that there's an Astra Star available, and there's both Nano Swarms on the lane. So they could take a lot of damage here if they're not careful on this reapproach to B side. And Baby Bay is here with an Odin. He's ready to go. Yeah, here comes the call. This is going to be absolutely right. I don't even think that first opening shot guard did too much. Baby Bay just holds down the trigger. Let's find two, but Koala matches him in the same form. So 3v3 we go. Koala is down to just 10 HP, though, so he's going to be hindered in this next battle. And really, you have to feel like Nisbo is going to have to make a play. Yes. He's going to have to rotate through mid-map, but I don't know. It just comes down to timing, really, because FaZe want to go quick. Yeah, Nismo is going to be the key here. Shore gets shut on his play. Nova Pulse also comes down and actually did connect very nicely. Paint shells. Uh-oh. That's not going to be good news. Koala falls. Corey also meets the same fate. And Nismo oh my God. runs up. The nade. I mean, they were stuck back there. There was no way out. The utility just kept them in place. and then Half on. So, Ghost, what do you put together for a response? Because realistically, the only major response they had was after that extended tactical and the technical pause that they caught FaZe a bit off guard. But this is a little bit more traditional. 
Blackwind does find first blood through B main, and that'll give numbers advantage to Ghost early. Yeah, it certainly helps just be able to get that early pick off. Just a chance to do another trying to flash through A no. main, but Corey's perched up top. He gets both of them. That is devastating. An advantage gained and now quickly lost as now FaZe looking to slow it down a little bit. They have a four on three. They're trying to keep the pressure on A with this Owl Jones Showstopper, but they're not fully committed to this. They're just using it to take space and create presence. They still have Baby Bay anchored at B lobby if they so choose to pivot, and they have mid control with Zachary. They have all their options still open to them, Shift. Look at the long play through mid map. Jack is going to watch any rotations coming through. FaZe yep. could just wait as long as they would so like. Just to see if they can bait out this rotation for another free elimination. Corey has snuck up top through the nebula. On the other side is Wynn. This point of contact could be everything here from either team's perspective. As soon as this dissipates, who's going to be quicker on the trigger? Corey will be. No problem there. And they can be on that song. But could Chase save? Not going to happen. FaZe Clan respond in overtime. I get overwhelmed. He's actually holding his ground, but you imagine... Oh, look at that. Great use uh. here from Ghost with the Paranoia. They now double push out. They stalled it for a second, but oh, FaZe are reclaiming. Uh, but this is still going to be a full commitment for Ghost. Yeah, this is uh, ooh, not nearly as clean as they drew it up in the playbook. I mean, it did look good initially, but it's down like Zach up close and personal. Corey with them. Ryan waiting for a peek. Gets it, but it's Zach spamming out the frenzy. In the five on four. Maybe base been her bashing in. Ah, uh, Chase though. Not expected to be sitting right in the middle of the site. Finds one opportunity for Zach. Not going to capitalize. And then how about the wide peek from Baby J? Avoids the fragmentation. Ryan falls. And now a chance to plant. Koala wants to try to deny this. Goes around the corner. Not going to find the elimination. And Rock oh, just boy. picks up the kill. 3v2 situation favoring phase. Cosmic Divide already earned in the third round. Is going to be spent very aggressively. And this is going to make life very difficult for Ghost. They're trying to contest this early, but... Faze are already in positions to just essentially keep dancing with this line. Zach gets a little bit baited by the Guiding Light, but Baby J for the response, and Nismo affected by the fault line, finds themselves in the middle of the site with not a lot of information on these final two phase members. Yeah, that crossfire was so good. Even with the player going down, Baby wow. J able to capitalize with the fault line and retaliation specifically. <laughs> Over into bathrooms pretty darn quickly, and this time it's Aftershock paint shells. Oh my goodness, Corey, what have you done? Finds the quick kill, but Ghost actually retake and well, not just retake, but fully take position over to the middle. Zachary Paranoia has to back away. Raucous will also read that yes, they are not stopping there. They're going to keep going, and <laughs> Fades are going to quickly rotate oh, over to help though. out Corey towards B. And the, oh, the rotation coming up. The Seekers are part of this. Wind can actually still stop, but the gravity well again. Nova Pulse traps them inside. Oh my! Fades have essentially cornered Look Ghost. Look at what Corey's about to do to these poor guys, dude. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, no. You know, that was actually not the conclusion I thought would happen with Corey. I thought they were going to, like, somehow... ...in the last two rounds has found no real estate to play off of. He got dominated in bathrooms and then moves to hookah. Doesn't find any success there. So now it's down to can you hold on to the elbow. Does well to find the first. Still wants to fight up against Baby Bay, but that will be where the stand will stop. So... One for one exchange, right there. but FaZe already on. Have already gotten the spike planted. Now this zero point is actually really nicely found. It's going to actually nullify a number of different players. But it's not going to make a difference when the weapons can still fire like this. Baby J able to find three of two and a half, if you want to call it that. Ryan still knocked. And I don't think Wynn's going to get into a position to recover early. Rolling Thunder going to get called through. FaZe quickly want to get their way over towards A. Showstopper also a part of the equation as Corey's able to clear even more space. Tosses it over towards the link, but actually doesn't quite hit as much as he would like to. Aftershock does still zone out the same location, so Corey will continue to push in. And he does read that, yes, there are indeed many Ghost defensive members <laughs> still sitting in their spot. I like he didn't overcommit there. He just falls back to this corner, but okay, Ryan doesn't give a... Here. He just runs through on the share frag anyway. They're starting to get some U-Haul control, but now Baby Bay oh. is going to do a little bit of a Goomba stop there on the Ryan. But what is this from Win? Still doable. This is 1v1. Seekers have been earned. He's going to get information that Rockus is playing over the top. One more headshot could do it. Falls down low. Guiding Light now coming through. Shock Dart throwing a response. Weapon has been collected. 14 shots in the ammunition. Win still pushing. Recon Bolt going to give away his position. Rockus is he going to have to check? Another toggle comes through. Win for the 1v1. Wants to go wide, but time is becoming a problem. Oh. And Rockus holds his ground. They convert this. Chase from heaven. Good information here, but actually gets a little bit maybe overcaught by his trap wire. Maybe not, actually. Just kidding. Corey does get taken down. The player initially affected by the trap wire. Koala still throwing out their covers to make sure that 
phase are still tested here. They do try to commit for the plan, and they won't get this down. So 3v5, Baby J. Oh, man, almost a chance to line up a couple, but only walks away with one. Baby Bay, meanwhile, over towards the backside of bathroom, is not going to find much of anything there. And it's just down to Zach. He does find one. Still has a Cosmic Divide to play with if he wants it. Second opportunity, he does see the sh- Been fine with it, largely. Corey is a part of this play for sure. Baby J maybe considering how he wants to open things up, and it's going to be Hunter's Fury in combination with the Flashpoint. It's good for one elimination. Ryan able to trade on the opposite side of the map to keep things level at a 4v4. But again, this Ghost defense is all over the place. No central position really whatsoever, and Koala is forced to teleport away. Yeah, that's big. That allows FaZe to reinforce the site. And now Ryan's just stepping out there by himself in a three on four and just going down. And now it makes the retake even more difficult here. Drone will come in to slow down back hauls. They chase after the fault line. Not going to result in initial plant, but the Rolling Thunder comes out. Corey's going to check his right. Sees one. Actually gets a respond in a second. Paint shells comes through. Chase, though, still playing through the elbow. Actually does find one elimination. And Ryan able to collect a second. So defensively, good stuff here from Ghost when it comes to the numbers. But the problem is they've rotated everyone off of A, and that's where the spike is heading. True, but they have a powerful retake, right? They have Neural Death available. They have the Null from Ryan to help them get into the site here when they start retaking the A side so that they still have a good chance. I mean, the spike's just now getting planned. They already had two players in position here in these back halls. So they have plenty of time to work this out. So what's the call? How are we getting back in if you're ghosts? Beyond that for phase, what are the tools trying to come through to hold? There's the null coming out to play. Nismo up top at heaven. Gonna delay peak. Everyone else in the front, but again, Goodness, the shots that come through with the gravity well, just absolutely perfect. Two players will fall. Ryan down, and then he'll likely be his, well, that's probably where he'll end up. This is going to be resolved in 1v1, and Baby Bay! They might continue their streak of beating teams and not allowing them to lose. Oh, and just Baby Bay. Again, just being enabled by Baby J. To find one, but it does get responded to. So, hey, still 4v4 situation in the early point of aggression. Yeah, it finds some success, but it's not as polished as maybe they drew it up in the playbook. Little day J combo. I don't know if that one's going to stick or not, but I tried. Yeah, we got to find some sort of a nickname for him. Baby squared. Yeah, you better than that. I, I, you know, just give me a chance. I'll get there. I know it. Knife comes through. The Rock is able to find one, but forced him to reload. Qual up top. Ooh, not clean, but Qual still finds the kill. No problem. Zach on the teleporter. Not going to read that chase. Was still lurking mid-map. So left here. Yeah. Maybe they can just be... find one. That would be fine. They have to be careful. They don't have the boom bot to clear hookah. That's right. The smokes are kind of stalling them, so they have to be a little bit more careful. Baby Bay, in the meantime, getting the kill. But now he's stuck in Octagon. He is absolutely trapped. No way out. That's a big catch for Ghost. Even things back up. Paint Shelter, Corey did get a lot of damage over the hookah. Holds the corner. Oh, going to find one. Tries to hold by the trigger. Baby J also a part of this, though. Finds the second and third elimination. Just up to Ryan now. And this is dangerous because you're going to get trapped up by the gravity well. Yeah, he's got absolutely nowhere to go. So, I mean, we can have a debate here between who got... Now you are going to get the null into play. Zach trying to hold on to the site, but goes very clean on the initiation. Find the first three, and that will lead to an immediate spike plan. Yeah, really good use of utility there. You know, making the most out of the null commands on top of all the initiator utility that they have in play. Smokes down on heaven. You know, just all your basics, and then you have that additional utility power with the double initiator comp. And the issue is that cost them a lot to get that round right. They had to use their null command. They had to use some other alts, I believe, one as well. Remaining. Or maybe it was just the one alt, but still. Yeah, just the one. They don't have that tool available next time around. They're still well behind on the scoreboard. It's a start, though. It's a start. It is a start. Right? I mean, this is looking very positive for Ghost once more. The they are comes out, and we're back to full healthy again. They're just anticipating Face's aggression really well, and they have counters set up for it. Like, they have these little traps. Like, every time Baby Bay's tried to do something aggressive on one side of the map, he's been absolutely shut down. Whether it was, you know, him getting crushed by grenades in bathrooms a couple of rounds ago, or just there, just, you know, knowing that they're probably going to chase after the Godding Light, and they have Quaz Op ready to go as soon as he comes forward. So, I feel like that's an adjustment phase they're going to have to make. Knowing that ghosts are playing back in the early part of these rounds. Oh, but how about this? Corey has snuck past the zero point, was not targeted by it, and oh, reads Nismo say, you're not going to pull the same setup that I did onto you earlier. Expects the blast pack peak, but how about Chase? Working right behind where Zach has been positioned before, but Zach does get some information, finds the easy kill. 
4v2 situation. And the Aftershock is going to push them out into Zachary's line of sight again for another. Just up the Koala. Going to get tested for multiple angles. Does find one clearance over through the back. Yes, but maybe Mace just kind of playing this corner because Corey's drawing all the attention from the back of the site. And will avoid the bulk of the damage by playing inside the tube here. Still stopping them from making any more forward progress on the B for now. Chase trying to lurk up short A, though, could be a problem. Indeed, he does get his kill on the Zachary. That's big. Not able to get another, though. So that flank is caught. Now they have to commit to B. Maybe Bay has been found out. Yeah, that's the big thing, is that there is now information here. But the problem is, is there even going to be time for a ghost to rotate? Apparently, you don't even need to. Nismo finds two. On to Rockus to try to hold from the backside of Elbow. Does win the 1v1 versus Nismo. Dock Dart still in play, comes out, not going to find too much. Baby J on the rotation, already make his way through. Aftershock will clear out the container, but Ryan has completely overwhelmed Elbow. And this is going to be a very difficult 1v1 here from Rocky. He's going to hold the corner. He's a timing coming through. Ryan wants the challenge, wins the gunfight, and it's just down to Baby J. 1v3 situation, playing from the back of the site. It's going to be difficult. Neos, he needs to clear out Elbow. Ryan and Wynn have definitely given up the sound sheet. This is multiple players that are here. Baby J finds the first, predicts the potential second, but not going to find it, so changes the angle. Opportunity, maybe still to find Wynn, who's now playing from on top of the site, but looks like everything will come to an unclimactic finish as both teams will just back away. Yeah, it's one of those situations where Ghosts were happy with an even trade there on A. Yeah, all their utility left. Trail. Just come through. Oh, Ryan actually finds first blood. That's Baby J over the middle of the map. Now the nullifies in play. Showstopper up top. Not going to find the success though. Ryan gets knocked and win. Also falls. But Koala able to recover. Picks up Ryan. He's now part of the equation again. And Chase making sure the spike gets planted safely. Watches over the top of his teammate. That was Corey who was able, or pardon me, Nismo who was able to plant. And all of a sudden, FaZe Clan are in a position where you thought the initial defense was good, but now they have to retake 3v4. Yeah, again, like the Null came in and basically shut down the counter utility that Azer are hoping to implement there. They weren't able to get the Nade and Boombot out from Corey to try to do some damage and stall the attack. One down. They're still trying to rip their way into this, though. They have it into a 2 versus 3. They have U-Haul control. Zachary from up top gets one, gets it into a 2v2 now. Time is dwindling, but FaZe are making a little bit of progress, but they need to work quicker, oh. and indeed they are making it happen, but that's a big out shot from Qual that might just do it. 1v1 opportunity. Koala goes to the Sheriff. The time's not going to be favorable for this. What's their economy going to be looking like? It doesn't feel like it's going to be that great, man. From what I can recall, they might be able to get a little something-something going here, but they're probably going to lack an op. I yeah, like play exactly. A bit so you can make sure he can use it. Well, he's not going to get the opportunity to. He's going to have it. Oh, or will he? Just lets it lay loose. I don't know what information was there. Pinchos also comes into play. Corey finds the second. Baby J wants the challenge, finds the third. Ryan was only good for the initial trade as a 4v2. Baby Bay mid-map. He's quick to rotate. And now it's all down to win. Who gets offended by the rolling 